Hi, this is Bona Rajaram again and I'm happy to present in this video segment three interesting English expressions that highlight summer, that are related to summer. They are April showers bring May flowers, one swallow does not make a summer, like watching grass grow. April showers bring May flowers means when there is rain in the month of April, it leads to a lot of greenery, lot of growth, lot of flowers uh, in the month of May. That is the actual meaning of this phrase. But in conversations, the meaning that gets highlighted is a little bit of inconvenience, little bit of discomfort eventually leads to a positive outcome or a positive result. That's what this means. An example would be, we were uh, asked to attend those evening classes before the exam. It was a little tedious for us, but then eventually we did well in studies. We did well in the examination. So it was a case of April showers bring May flowers. So that is the meaning of this particular beautiful little phrase. And uh, uh, it apparently had its origins in a poem, which actually goes like March winds bring April, uh, April showers, uh, which brings uh, May, May flowers, April showers, May flowers. So that's what uh, this particular phrase is all about. The second one is one swallow does not make a summer. Swallows are little birds that come into the country, North America, uh, when summer is about to begin. So they invariably indicate the start of the summer. Sometimes what happens is they land up into the country by accident and uh, that gives the wrong connotation that summer has begun. So that is the literal meaning of this uh, particular phrase. But in conversations it means one little event, one occurrence, one small uh, change does not mean that there is a significant improvement in the scenario, right? So an example here would be, there is a significant jump from last year in sales, but that is like one swallow does not make a summer because we have a long way to go. So that is the meaning of this particular uh, little interesting phrase. The third one is like watching grass grow, which means a very, very boring activity. Uh, imagine uh, watching uh, grass grow. It's very slow. It's very tedious process, right? So that is the actual meaning. But whenever you want to, uh, 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 you know, say that it was a very boring uh, thing that you were asked to experience, a boring activity that you had to kind of sit through, that's when you could bring in this uh, phrase into the conversation. So for instance, let's say you, you're in the office and you've been asked to sit through a lot of meetings, you know, back-to-back -back meetings, and you find them extremely long and boring. That's when you could say we had to, you know, the day was packed with meetings. It was like watching grass grow. So I really hope that you enjoyed uh, getting to know these phrases. This is only a cue. I mean, go ahead and explore these uh, uh, phrases more and bring them back into your conversation if you've already been using them. Uh, else, start using them. Wishing all of you a very productive Q2, April, May, June and also a very peaceful, joyous summer. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.